What's up guys, I'm Hype, and I'm here to jump into the video real quick to ask for a huge favor. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before 2022, and I need your help by subscribing to the channel right now. When I look back at my analytics, it looks like everybody who watches the channel is not subscribed. Actually, there's over 84% of you guys who aren't subscribed to the channel, but watch it all the time. So please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers before the year of 2022. Thanks, now back to the episode. My name is Aiden Hill. I'm a 2022 graduate and I'm an outfielder at P27 Academy. Uh, committed to Virginia Commonwealth University and this is what's in my back. So first, I got this heavyweight bat. I'm not, I don't know how much it weighs, but um, I got it for free from a guy. Uh, he sells Amish bats and he's a really nice guy. My dad wanted a fungo and he came by and just gave us this for free. So I just use this for like overload training, swinging heavy and then drop to like a regular bat. This is my ax bat. I really love this thing because the handle, it helps me from getting these which suck um, so I don't like swinging metal axe bats because I think they're kind of bad they don't have much pop but um, the wool ones are really nice and my favorite player is Mookie Betts he swings them so I kind of got it from him tried it out and I like this so and then obviously this is an Evo Shield leg guard use these because I don't want to break my ankle if I foul the ball off um, only problem is they're really expensive now so I only have the one I don't have an elbow guard uh, so if I get hit in the elbow, might be done out for a while. Uh, just trigger point uh, foam roller. I actually don't use it that much, but um, if I feel sore or tight somewhere, I'll use it before a game or maybe after a game, just whenever, it's convenient. Then I got the goods, De Marini, uh, 33 ounces, 30 inches. Um, my dad got me this like last year. Um, Probably because I, we swing De Marini at VCU, so uh, gotta get ready and swing De Marini bats, get used to them and stuff like that. I really like this one, it has a lot of pop. Um, yeah, it's never let me down. I haven't had it that long, but it's fan favorite. And then this is, this is another bat that was free. Um, my first year playing with my travel team, the uh, Virginia Stars, uh, my head coach was just like, hey, take it, and I was like, Okay, and so I, I've had this for four years now. Uh, it's a really nice bat. So this one probably has more pop than the Axe bat, but this one's lighter, so it kind of whips through the zone better. Uh, but if you catch one on here, then it'll go a long way. So I'm torn between them two. They're both really good bats. Then I have this tiny baseball. It was a gift from my hitting coach. Um, so I kind of use, I kind of keep that in here just to remember him. He's an amazing guy. He actually just like checked in on me um, last week. Just check in and see how I was doing because from Maryland, haven't seen him in a while. So then gotta keep the pine tar. Don't want to hand something off the bat. Then COVID, so I got hand sanitizer. Ugh. Then I got my Rawlings helmet. I love Rawlings because they have the face mask and the last thing I want is to take a fastball in the face, especially now I'm seeing 90 and 90 and up. Um, and it feels nice. This one's kind of small. I have a red one, but I like the black one because it goes with any uniform. So I wear this one more often. Probably get a new one soon. Then I got my infield glove, which I never use anymore because I'm an outfielder. And this is just to help break in and I keep two balls in here. Um, so it's not like flappy and it's not rigid at the same time. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, but I don't have to worry about that since I don't play infield. Then I got 
uh, 44 customizable sliding mitt. Um, 44, they make really good customizable stuff. Like they have sliding mitts, gloves. Uh, they don't make bats yet, but uh, I really love this company. I actually forgot to mention my glove. The only bad thing about the gloves, which is kind of a good thing, uh, they take forever to break in. I've had this for three years. It took me two years to break it in. I just now started using it, um, but it's really customizable. I have a uh, Philippines 413 here, then I have my name, and then 44 logo, which is coming apart, but I've had it for a while, so. But it's a really nice glove and feels nice in your hand. Um, then I got oh, a couple drive line balls. I uh, use these usually on the weekends when I'm long tossing. Um, other than that, if I'm doing like short distance, I won't use them, but just kind of to warm up and long toss. And I have the pile balls too, but they're not in my bag. Gotta have sunscreen. Can't be getting sunburn. Sun cancer is real. My hitting coach had it when he was little, so. Then I got some baseballs, of course. And then I have another foam roller, which is more specifically for like it's to target certain muscles, so I'll use it on my feet or like my glutes or triceps, uh, shoulder. Um, it's, it, it hits certain spots better than just like a whole muscle in general, so it's more pinpointed. And then I have weighted balls for hitting, warming up hitting. Uh, in the cage, I'll use these a couple times. I like juggling, so I'll just pop these out if I'm bored or something in the dugout. Long game. Um, then I have about four pairs of batting gloves, two of which ripped. Uh, these are the new ones. Franklin makes the best, in my opinion. Um, then I have a Rucci, which I just got two weeks ago, and they're already ripped. Um, then I have Louisville, which has been ripped for a while. They're kind of worn down. Um, then Franklin again, which ripped a while ago. Then more Louisville. And then one more pair of Franklins. Yeah, you'll need a lot of batting gloves if you swing as much as we do here. Then I got a pro hitter. Uh, I only use this when we swing wood because catching a ball right here kind of sucks. So don't want any, any more pain than it needs to be. And then that's all I have in my bag.